Exponents allow us to write multiplication in a different way. Let's start with an example. Let's say we have 4 times 4 times 4. So we're multiplying 4 three times. Another way to write that would be 4 with a 3 to the top right. So this is just a symbol. It's a shorthand for writing a number multiplied a certain number of times. So this right here would be called the base. And this is called the exponent. It tells us how many times we multiply a number. And that number is the base. So this tells us, this 3 tells us we are multiplying 4 three times. It's just a shorthand. Instead of writing 4 times 4 times 4 every time, we could just write 4 with the 3 at the top right. And so how would we pronounce that? Well, we can pronounce it like this. We would say 4 to the third power. So again, exponents is a shorthand. It's a symbol. And they help us make math look neat and tidy. Let's do another example. Let's say we multiply 7 five times. So how could we write that using exponents? Well, the base is the number we're multiplying. So the base would be 7. And how many times are we multiplying it? We're multiplying it five times. And that's how you should think about it. When you see this 7 with the 5 at the top right, this is 7 multiplied five times. Let's multiply 2 six times. So how could we write that using exponents? Well, our base is 2, because that's the number we're multiplying. And how many times are we multiplying it? 6. So we would say this is 2 to the 6th power. Now let's take this a step further. Let me give you a question, or a problem to solve. Evaluate the expression x to the fourth power when x equals 2. OK, let's take this step by step. So evaluate. It's just another way to say solve. They want us to solve the problem. So solve the expression x to the fourth. So an expression is just some combination of variables and operations, right? So we have x to the fourth, so we're just multiplying x four times. And let's mark our base and our exponent. Anytime you see a, a, a variable or a number with another number to the top right, we're using exponents. All right. So now we want to solve the expression x to the fourth when x equals 2. OK. If you don't know what to do, the first thing is write down what you know anything you know that can help you to solve the problem. So what's something that we know? Well, we know x is a variable. That is true. Well, that means that x is a number in disguise. All right, that's our shorthand 
way of thinking about variables, just a number in disguise. Well, that would mean x to the fourth power is a number in disguise multiplied four times. OK, x to the fourth is a number in disguise multiplied four times. Well, is it really in disguise? Looks like in the problem, it tells us x equals 2. We know what's behind the mask. So this number in disguise is just 2. So now we know x to the fourth power is 2 multiplied four times. x to the fourth power is 2 multiplied four times. What does that equal? 16. So if you don't know where to start with a problem, just write down what you know and try to build from there. And eventually, you can solve the problem.